Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we have got a bottle of Heather Honey Imperial Stout brewed by the Thornbridge Brewery in Bakewell. And in particular, this is brewed at Thornbridge Hall, the original Thornbridge Brewery, which is on the grounds of um, Thornbridge Hall. Uh, it is a 10% Heather Honey Imperial Stout, but there's so much what's happened to this beer. I'm actually going to have to read out some of the back because I couldn't remember it all. It, it is crazy. That's a very small writing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's got peat, chocolate brown and peated malt. Uh, Fuggles, Palisade, Willamette hops. Uh, Heather Honey from a Sheffield Honey Company. Uh, and then it's, um, the stout is initially mature for six months. Uh, a third uh, for six months. A third in brand new French oak. Uh, a third in Pedro Jimenez sherry cask and a third in a former red bourbon, sorry, red Bordeaux wine casks. This beer is then blended back together and conditioned for a further period to allow the flavours to meld. It's been, uh, has been conditioned in the bottle using champagne yeast and more heather honey. Wow. So, I guess the, I'm, I'm going to keep me, I'm going to put my glass between my legs just in case if it goes a bit rampant. Nope, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Panic over. Got a really nice high fill as well. Value for money. <laughs> and as a Yorkshireman, you know that's important to me. <laughs> Ooh, a nice glug. Pouring through. Blood's quite thick anyway. Leave a bit of headroom to give it a swell. I actually bought this by mistake. <laughs> I was actually buying the, you probably have seen the video already of the um, uh, Imperial Oatmeal style. I was meant to buy that, but that was side of it. I just, I won't look in, just grabbed it. Got it outside and I'm like, oh no, it's the Heather Only one, wrong one. But let's find out if that was a happy mistake. Anyway, beer in the glass, a really nice, I'd say very dark brown. It's not quite black, I'd say. It's very, very dark, nice and shiny. A head, quite a fizzy, decent head really, of um, quite a, a mid-brown, quite a bubbly head. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Wow, that's complex. Fresh, fresh leather. <laughs> Try and say that after um, three beers. <laughs> really big, big time leather. Wow, yeah. I've never smelled a beer that smells so much like fresh leather. There's a slightly manure, fresh manure edge in there, in the best possible sense. There's a, there is a peated note in there. Yeah, quite a pr pronounced petered note. Yeah, definitely a really acrid, dark malt character. Smells like fresh tar as well. More a swirl it, more that, that peat and that and tar. Ooh, yeah, that's so peculiar. I wonder what that's coming from. I wonder if it's coming from a sherry. Wow, that's weird. It's got a burnt now. It's maybe like c cigars as well. Definitely a big heavy roasted coffee. Maybe maybe chocolate, but the, it, it's those smoky, leathery nose that are most prominent. Wow, I've never smelled a beer quite like it. Really kind of ash, not ashy, but like the burning cinders of a fire. It's still glowing, but still kind of burning. Mmm, wow, smells incredible. I guess the honey is in there. Some things which have the kind of like that old honey kind of smell. My wife used to have a um, this stool, um, not a little little kind of footstool thing that was leather. And she said it smelled like honey. I thought it smelled like old dogs, but I get what she's getting at. This smells like that honey, not that stool. <laughs> Anyway, let's waffle in, let's dive in. That smells incredible. Very unique, very different, so let's dive in. Cheers. Five five minutes deep and I'm still waffling. Like Terry Kay. In the best possible way. Mmm, it's nice. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Very different. Um, not as full mouthfeel as I hoped. I think it, it'd be better if it had a bit more mouthfeel. Yeah. Medium to full, definitely, no, medium, I'm going to go medium. Lovely flavours though, really lo lovely flavours, really pronounced, kind of notable flavours though. And 
initially quite wet, I'm getting kind of prunes, dates. Definitely loads of that oak. Yeah, the oak is nice and soft. Uh, I'd say bringing in a nice, uh, nice smooth vanilla in there. Burnt chad kind of carbonating out there. Ooh, and then a big coffee now. That's lovely. Big coffee. Big kind of heavy roast coffee. Ooh, that's beautiful actually. More drinking, more I love it. got a dry quality to the mouthfeel, it's quite a, I don't know what it is, it's the, yeah there's a real serious dryness to it, <clears throat> kind of sandpaper like in the best possible way, keeps coming back to more, back for more, as far as the kind of um, bulk conditioning of this is absolutely perfect, I've had um, ba um, beers that have been barrel aged, obviously they go flat as a pancake, and then re reconditioned with champagne yeast and then spraying all over the place. But this is really nice, really well tempered carbonation. Yeah, loads of molasses, bonfire toffee, growing, oh, big bonfire toffee there. Molasses, brown sugar. You're not getting a hell of a lot of chocolate, it's definitely like coffee edge. Coffee's come back now. It's a big, long, roasty coffee. We're more, once again, more molasses. And that's the lingering flavour. With a little bit of kind of soft, kind of oaky, woody note. Getting the sticky lips. Probably from the honey. Mm. It's a beer where the, the, um, where the aroma and the flavour are very very pronounced and they've got lots going on and there is, there is distinctive differences between them but there's also a really nice common thread to it which I think is just a fingerprint of a really quality beer mm. definitely getting a hint of smoke in there once again that kind of, kind of um, cigar note that's lovely. More a drink of it, more I like it. The the kind of barrel aging is, is adding such a beautiful complexity to complexity to it. And who would have thought you get such kind of different malt characters from a relatively simple malt bill, I think. It did just say uh peer, you know, peer malt, chocolate malt, brown malt. And it says you utilise a complex malt grist. Okay, well, I mean I guess it is chocolate brown and peter it's playing around with all sorts, but I think it's just all coming together in perfect unison. Mm. Really drinkable, really drinkable, beautifully complex, but because that flavour is so kind of complex and interesting, it keeps coming back more and more and more. As I said at the start of the video, I bought by mistake. Good God, I'm glad I made that mistake. Because I've ended up with not just one kick-ass beer, two. So that is a fantastic bottle of Thornbridge's Heather Honey. As you can see, Thornbridge Hall, it says at the top, brewed at the old brewery, which is still used for kind of the smaller brews like this, opposed to the Riverside Brewery, which is their main kind of big production brewery. Heather Honey, so, as I said, it's not the easy beer in him to say. Heather Honey, so, so you mean, I'm from Yorkshire. Heather Honey, Heather Honey. <laughs> Imperial Stout, 10% ABV. Wow, aged in a myriad of barrels, English hops, American hops, ridiculous amounts of varied malts. That's the fucking business, I tell you. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. That's a stunner, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.